Hey, you going, guys and girls? In this episode, we're going to have a bit of a look at my homemade spray booth because I've had a few people ask me about it. So I thought I'd put a little bit of a video together just of, uh, of how I put it together and how it works, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Cheers. Excuse the mess, guys, but this is um, sort of a bit of a, uh, just a slap together video. Um, been absolutely crook as a dog, so I haven't really been able to do much um, except sort of lay around and do nothing. Um, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get stuck into um, having a little bit of a look at this. Um, so at the back of the shed, we've got the exhaust. That's sort of where all the, uh, all the overspray gets sucked out to. Um, behind that very dirty filter, there's a bit of a, like an air dam sort of setup. And then, then that goes to a 32 inch uh, shutter fan. So yeah, that, um, that definitely does the job. I probably could have made that come all the way down to the floor, but the way I'd done the framing for the, um, to hang the sheeting, which is a uh, four and a half mil um, concrete sheeting, um, I sort of, sort of shot myself in the foot there and I put this bar here so I couldn't really go down any further. So it's a little bit annoying, but um, like I said, it does the job. Um, at the front of the shed, we've got the, uh, the intake. So that's where it draws in the, uh, the clean air, um, again, I'll probably, later on down the track, I'll uh, probably look into fitting another filter bank on this side of the shed, um, just to sort of help uh, draw the overspray from this side of the shed because I do find it lingers a little bit more um, through here, but I kind of knew that was gonna be a problem just um, cause yeah, like I said, that's basically just on one side of the shed. Um, but I was sort of just working with the room that I've got because um, obviously I still needed a place to put my bench um, and all my paints and stuff like that. So I sort of just try and keep that to that side of the shed. Um, yeah, it's um, oops, sorry. It's um, it's a very basic setup. So with the uh, with the intake and the exhaust. The theory is if you keep your exhaust low to the, the ground, um, it will help pick up the solvents a little bit better because your solvents are going to be heavier than the air that you're, uh, that you're drawing in from the intake. So if you've got your fresh air coming in, uh, coming in, you know, from a reasonably high area, it'll come in, it'll catch the, uh, the solvents that, or the overspray and it will help push it to the ground and then suck it out through the exhaust. So yeah, it's, um, it's not rocket science, but there's, there's a little bit of a, a theory behind it. Um, yeah, it's sort of just what I've found to, uh, that works. And that's sort of just sort of what I had to, um, what I wanted to, uh, to build and achieve here. So yeah, it's, um, it's not perfect, but it definitely works. Um, I suppose probably another thing I'll mention though, there's, uh, 14 fluorescent lights in here, so six down either sides of the walls, and then two on the back. Um, I'll say the side walls, and then two on the back wall. There's nothing at the front, which is um, not ideal, but the uh, the side lights definitely give it enough um, give it enough light. So yeah, not not really a big deal, but um, yeah, it um, does the job. They're just covered with some uh, some three mil uh, perspex. And the walls are just four and a half mil concrete sheeting, so yeah. Which is the same thing that I boxed in all the uh, the purlins and you know, the the um, uh, the A frames. Sorry, yeah, the A frame. Um, yeah, does the job. Um, yeah, I probably should have uh, continued up the framing up to the roof, but. Yeah, it's, um, that's why there's a bit of a ledge up there. So it does the job, it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, I usually just give that a bit of a wipe down up there before I sort of paint anything. I find this, I don't really have to worry too much about dust this end of the shed because at the end of the day, it is sort of where all the overspray is getting pulled to. So it's not a big deal. Um, obviously if I was to put my bench or something down this end of the shed or you know, open up the uh, the access door while I was painting in here, it would, you know, draw in a whole lot of dirt. But um, yeah, because I, I try and keep every, all the dirty stuff sort of down the back end of the shed because that's where the exhaust fan is. Um, yeah, sort of just keeps it, you know, 
sort of contained to just this end of the shed. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll uh, wrap this up and um, yeah, hopefully you guys can take something from this uh, from this video. Um, I know, like I said, I, a few people have asked me to uh, to do a video on this, but I've sort of been a little bit hesitant to because I haven't. I've I've done a bit of uh, painting in here, but I haven't really done enough to say that I'm 100% uh, confident and you know I know all the ins and outs of painting in here. But um, yeah, I've been absolutely crook as a dog, and um, this week and. You know, even if I wasn't uh, sick, um, you know, it's really been too cold to, uh, to get some colour on this one and um, getting steel at the moment is uh, been a little bit difficult, so I sort of had to um, give the rust repair sort of stuff a little bit of a miss at the moment. But, um, yeah, in, uh, in other news, we've sort of, I've been, um, I've sorted out the wheels and tyres for the, uh, for the HZ Kingswood that I'm doing, so, um, yeah, hopefully I can start... Uh, looking into um, buying the uh, the wheel tubs for that and um, yeah, hopefully soon we can uh, start the tub process on that one. So that's um, very exciting. I'm looking to doing, looking forward to doing that. So um, yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put up a little bit of a slideshow of just putting the shed together or the spray both set up. Um, yeah, cheers. Also, just while I've got you guys here, um, I just want to say big shout out to all the people who have already subscribed to the channel. We're almost at the thousand uh, subscriber mark, so yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that, and um, yeah, hopefully we can bring some more content to you guys soon.